We've been friends for years and years, first through pubescence, then adolescence, right up to now. But I've never ever prized into your past, Ben. But now at last, Ben, I ask you how. How can our friendship grow so close and so intense when I've never really known you? That is in the biblical sense. You've been intimate with all my friends and lovers. And yet they've intimated quite and tactfully That I'm the only one who hasn't joined the fun Yes, everybody's had you but me Last Christmas I was told by my dear mother That on some drunken wild weekend spree You proceeded to seduce my younger brother, Bruce. Yes, everybody's had you but me. Remember when we went to mass and took our first communion? You were in that damn confessional for hours. But at least I found it odd that the priest, a man of God, should send you that divine bouquet of love. Your list of conquests makes who's who a memorandum. No one else would manage a menage a sank. With my cousin Sam the actor, the family chiropractor, and the tellers that you picked up in the bank. I heard the rumor that you were bisexual and passed it off as just a load of noise. Although you fume and fuss, I know you're one of us, but bisexual means to you both men and boys. <laughs> now I felt sighted and annoyed and quite rejected, and would have told you sooner, but was much too shy. Now if my friends are good enough for your romantic stuff, I ask you, Ben, why aren't I? Now I've admitted, I adore you. I beseech you and implore you to dispel this hell and tell me honestly. Why everybody's had you, but me? <laughs> Jim Roberts. Thank you, James. <laughs>